Hi everyone, Aldous Ike here. Um, I'm presenting part two of the uh, Hope Box um, and I want to finish it up. So in part one, uh, you know, I talked about establishing the Hope Box and got to the point of having done that. Okay, so now, um, after the Hope Box has been established, um, you want to remind clients, or if you're going solo, you know, remind yourself, but remind clients that they can go uh, to their Hope Box when they're feeling helpless or sad and pick an item and try to regain the feelings uh, that they experienced in the past, okay? Uh, it's surprising how this can really be uh, beneficial. So the hope box is kind of like a, a concrete um, marker of hope and serves you know, multiple purposes. So if a client has gone through the steps of developing and implementing uh, a hope box, um, you know, they've, they've made a tangible uh, commitment to living. They've gone through all the, the steps to develop the, uh, the hope box. Okay, so um, by its very nature, this hope box is personalized, obviously. Um, the hope box helps stop the escalation of obsessive uh, ruminations about, you know, reasons for dying, you know, along with associated, you know, most emotional upset, things like that. Um, so the hope box is uh, a practical exercise designed to activate reasons for living and disrupt the cycle of despair. I think I took that directly from the... Uh, from the seminar. Uh, so it helps to, you know, reorient the client toward constructive problem solving and effective uh, emotional regulation. Uh, and again, if you're going solo, you know, this is something that you kind of obviously do on your own. You just, but you have all of these tangible items. Uh, you know, you have the hope box itself and the tangible items inside the hope box that I think can be very useful. Uh, during periods of hopelessness. Okay. Uh, most importantly, that uh, came from the, uh, the seminar, most importantly, uh, the Hope Box is an intervention that facilitates self management. Okay. So it uh, provides an opportunity for the client to, to learn to manage crises and emotional upset. Uh, individually right uh you know without external intervention these are things that you know the client or you or i could could fall back on uh when when we need to it really uh, kind of gives a boost uh and offers you know real and lasting hope you know so it's real and lasting hope is founded in the clients knowing that he or she can effectively and independently manage the problems um of daily living. They have been the client, you know, along with the therapist or again, going solo, but they have basically, basically been the, the individual that has uh, set up the hope box, put activities in the hope box, uh, done the activities of, um, that were mentioned in part one, uh, where um, they, they look at what's in the hope box, they add items to the, uh, the hope box, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And I think having something very concrete uh, really kind of helps as well. Okay, and that is it for part two.